Hello and welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're talking about a stock called Upstart Holding and I'm going to go through the full technicals on the stock and, and I'm going to cover different different aspect. Uh, for example, what the Fibonacci chart is saying, what is the EMA saying, the exponential moving average is saying, what the RSI is, what the MACD is. So I'm going to cover all that. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. It keeps me motivated to bring this information to you all. So let's talk about the company. It's called Upstart. This is a new, uh, you know, uh, they loan money to different people. It's an AI-based credit check company for example so they're not doing the the regular credit checks how different companies different banks do right now with the three companies they run the credit and they tell you your score is 750 780 and so on and so forth so they, this is the ai based they even look at your education your job and everything else and you know a different aspect of your life to give you that better rate that you can it's a very interesting stock very interesting idea and i think this is a one-of-a-kind idea that started uh, populating so this is why i see a little bit of a value in that because it's new thing right uh, market cap is about around 8.67 billion which is huge it's not a small company here so and the volume they trade on average is about 13 million shares are traded every day the eps is 1.43 which is which means that they are profitable whatever earnings they demonstrated and now uh, the p ratio it, it seems on a, a bit of a higher side um almost feel like you know stock was overvalued at one point but right now it's coming down to the point where it's reasonable at this point so uh the institutional banks hold about 55% of the ownership and recently they sold about 7 million shares and they bought in about 2 million. So the institutional banks are the big companies. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of big companies out there like, you know, you have Vanguard, uh, Morgan Stanley, Chase Bank and all these big dogs, right? So seven, eight, 111 of them sold out of their position, about 7 million shares and 162 got in, even though their number is larger, but they're not getting in like in a big big share amount so but they just it seems like everybody want to get their foot in there because of this the whole idea behind the company right so let's look at the the technicals i have here so i have a couple of supports and resistance here um there is a support i have at around 84 dollars. the stock is tremendously falling um he had a he had a um, the stock had a a good upward trend last few days from March, uh, I started on March 14th and went all the way up to 133.78, and then it started declining again. Now I have a support here at $85, and I feel like when it's when it's gonna hit that right, it could be possibly that stock can you know start um start the upward trend again. So let's look at the other indicators that can sort of help us. You know, every every time you know you you take a look at the pricing nobody can predict the future but these indicators will help us make that make that better decision if we can right so i'm i'm personally going going to do a swing trade on it which means that you know sort of rinse and repeat type of scenario i'm not gonna uh, buy in and just hold it for uh, you know hopefully that the stock will go into four hundred dollars again that's not the case i'm gonna try to see where we can where i can make few bucks here and then sell it few bucks and sell it you know in that situation so fibonacci is saying uh that you know the stock is around you know it did hit 23.6 percent which means that it is in a, in a uh, on a downward trend i'm on a 30 minute chart right now exponential moving averages is the purple line i have a 13 period and i have a 50 periods both of them indicating that it is going down in the 13 periods the last 13 candles which could be today and yesterday uh it crossed that 48 uh mark which means that it is it is on a downward slope okay like hard and RSI is saying the same thing. RSI is telling me that, you know, the stock is going down. The MACD is also telling me the stock is going down. So Fibonacci, EMA, which is exponential moving average, your RSI, MACD, all of them are saying the stock is heading down, right? And I have a feeling that it might go down to the the, the support we have here, $85 or so, right? If it does that, I'm going to see what happens after that. Like, for example, when it hit that support um, around $85 on March 15th, the stocks started trading up and I'm looking at the Fibonacci at this point now and I'm going to see where it goes if it started going up after 85 and I'm going to uh, I'm going to see if it hits that 23 mark I'm going to wait till it hits that 38.2 mark and if it crosses that I'm getting in because this is personally my my opinion like this is what I'm going to do and you know if if you know you make your own decision if you feel comfortable with that you could always follow the approach but um if it crosses that 38.2 I'm going to start to get I'm trying to get in and then, you know, wait for it to ride the wave up all the way up to one, you know, again, to the resistance that we have. And then um, let's see what happens, because I don't think the stock is going anywhere above that 133 mark, because if I also did a Fibonacci on a weekly chart and look at this, right, the stock started dipping from October 15th till this point. The stock has tremendously 
gone down. The RSI for weekly chart is 37. The MACD is to the ground, which means there's more more selling happened than more buying happened here. So what I'm looking for is like a short term swing trade scenario where I could make some money and be able to you know gain whatever I can gain from the uh, from the stock, and then when it's stable, then maybe go long on it. So uh, again, this is just a you know quick information. Um, so again, the stock is for me looking to go down right now and yeah i mean you know again i'm gonna do like a swing trade on it not gonna go long on it for now like you know we're hold it for a few months and try to see if it's gonna go back to 300 it might it might happen but right now i think this is just to me it's more like a swing trade so hope you like this video if you did please do subscribe to the channel i'll be releasing video on different stocks and we'll cover different stocks see where the price is gonna land so talk to you guys next video